Hi. So this is going to be the feminine aspects of your emotions. If you have not checked out the masculine aspects of your emotions, please do. However, the feminine aspects of our emotions is so powerfully, you feel it, you, you can't help but feel it. Um, it's powerful. It's like a woman's touch, you know? It's, it draws you in, the feminine emotion, it draws you in, the feminine aspect of the emotion, it draws you in like, let's say you're on a train and there's a lot of people around and you have really great boundaries and you're not just the type of person where anyone can just walk up and touch you, where someone might quote unquote accidentally, quote unquote, touch you all so that they can see what your skin feels like. It's like equating the feminine aspect of emotions to being able to be skin to skin with someone, okay? So this might be, uh, yeah, actually this will be a three pal pick a card. The masculine aspects of the emotions was a bit much more meatier to me. However, the beautiful feminine aspect of emotions, I believe I'll be able to fit in all the information in one, but if not, then I'm okay with that. You know, doing the masculine aspects of your emotions help me understand to just go with the flow. <laughs> um, literally. So we're just going to do this. So without further ado, I will see you at your pal if there's pals. Okay, look in the description box. We're going to start pal one. Beautiful pal one. I feel like it's a full moon. And I went back in time. And I snuck out of the house, even though I knew my papa would be highly upset to go to the Jew joint down the street. I feel as if not only did I fall in love with the liquor, the jazz, I fell in love with the night starry sky and I feel as if a stranger fell in love with me. And I feel as if we could have had a wild, beautiful romance. Even if it wasn't the most healthiest, it could have definitely shaped my life, you know? Pow One, your feminine energy feels like there's deep aspects of yourself that you may be disconnected from that really changed your life. Perhaps there was some sort of betrayal you've experienced where you tried to disconnect from it and you didn't, you know, acknowledge it. So you might have had a lot of experience similar to it. And these experiences are simply saying, acknowledge what happened. You know, it could have been something as, you know, um, falling in love with a baseball player. You might have just thought, I just really like baseball. I really like that player, but it could be so much more deeper than that. And it's okay for you to get lost in your thoughts and discover it and explore it. There doesn't have to be this logical understanding about why it is you love what you love and how you love it, you know? Because the deeper 
you understand the feminine aspect of your emotions, you'll be able to create healthy boundaries. And you could practice them in the mirror and you'll know you've met the right person when you're able to share these boundaries and you can clearly see they energetically respect and honor it, you know? And this person will know that you're the one for them because you know your emotional boundaries. And everyone's emotional boundaries is so unique, but the fact that you took the time to get to understand the feminine aspect of your emotional boundaries, wow. Okay. So we have the Jack of Diamonds. And I feel as if there's this beautiful, youthful, young energy about you that's ready to take action on building, well, on the building blocks of your legacy. And with the four of diamonds here, I feel as if some things may be taking a little time to come together because fear doesn't want you to miss very fine detailed things that you need to pay attention to along your journey. So the feminine aspects of your emotions is revealing to me that you are getting your childhood back, your youth back. I don't really think that you had a chance to explore your childhood, you know? And I really feel that perhaps you're, you might be afraid of the freedom you're feeling emotionally. You might be afraid of, what if I make the wrong decision? What if I, hurt the ones I love because I do something that can jeopardize our future. And your concerns are valid, but you're quite wise. And you really should pat yourself on the back because emotionally you have evolved a lot further than the average person. If you notice there's individuals um, who may act as if they have it all together, but you can feel they're emotionally off. They may never take accountability for how they emotionally hurt someone and things like that. And they may continue this pattern and cycle and result to sabotaging themselves and others because they don't understand their emotional cycle. While you have the wisdom to understand, okay, I can have a childhood again because I feel that you weren't able to express yourself emotionally as a child. So the feminine aspect of your emotions is allowing you to be able to enjoy your childhood through your emotions. You know, you are the parent that you need to allow your inner child to feel safe as you express the feminine aspects of your emotions in your day-to-day -day life. So let's look at the messages. Joyce Car Car Carol Oates seems to have no trouble coming out with book after book. So this is Jack of Diamonds. So this is a comb. The picture up here, there's a home. There's a couple. And it looks as if someone is typing a book but the energy that i'm getting here is that you are so destined for success that you have people projecting their limitedness onto you and you're being asked to just simply create whatever it is you want to create in such a way that only you can do it and you're gonna have individuals just sitting there watching you disconnected from themselves and disharmonious connections and they're going to be secretly admiring your work ethic okay it may seem as if you're doing something new this week every week but literally it just seems as if you're just allowing the aspects of your childhood that you weren't able to experience to express itself. 
and it is safe for you to do so. The feminine aspect of your emotions, it's safe for you to express yourself. You are the mother or the father that you need to understand that what you're doing, you're not gonna let yourself, you know, like if, uh, imagine a parent who's realizing their child's learning to walk and they're like, well, we have to cross the street. You're not the parent that's just gonna let your child run out into the street. You're going to be the parent, I feel, who's gonna, instead of holding your child's arm, you're gonna hold their hand and have be able to connect with them communicatively and say, you know, hey, we have to learn street safety and let's work together. So move with me, all right? Instead of, like, don't run into the street. You're the kind of parent to yourself where I feel like, hey, I understand you're curious about the world. There's no need to be uh, afraid of it, but there's, you know, things you need to be aware of. So I'm going to be an example to you of how to have healthy fun and I will not act as if I'm perfect and as if I won't make mistakes, but I will be the parent that will learn from my mistakes instead of repeating the same mistake over and over. So I feel like the feminine aspect of your emotion, she's very gentle. In the four of diamonds, it says here, the dog is reading a book, okay? It says a talking dog. See spot run. See spot run. Who wrote this crap? And so there's a couple. And they're all reading books. And this is like this very um avant avant-garde family. So I really feel as if the feminine aspects of your emotions is very free. And you're being asked to honor the feminine aspect of your emotions so that you can experience the childhood that you didn't get to experience in adulthood. 1313, that each number will have a message for you. Have a good day.